don't you give me my intro for this? This is a big, beautiful tree. Michael's trying to... And this tree <laughs> needs to be hugged. He's having a moment here. We'll get to the vlog part soon. I'm getting, I'm getting some big tree energy. Yo! It's our first vlog at a national park, and I'm tripping over the biggest tree root of all time. I'm just hugging this tree for a little bit. We've had, a, we've had a rough two days. I never thought I was a tree hugger, but now I'm starting to understand. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah, this tree's speaking to me. It's giving me wisdom of hundreds of years. I can't imagine how old this tree actually is. Uh, he said he's 278 years old. Oh, what's his name? <laughs> it's a secret. I'm not going to press him. Evidently, it's a private matter. Y'all know us, we really like to fly by the seat of our pants, and today is no exception. We didn't have any plans of coming to the National Park while we were in Washington State. We are here to coho salmon fish, but we've changed our accommodations. We drove four hours out of our way, and we are now trying to take you on our first hiking vlog. Really digging the sandals today, man. These are my hiking sandals. I wonder what trail this is. I don't know if you saw the sign, but it said this was cougar territory. I'm not afraid. Well, I know, there's just a good opportunity for you to potentially have to bare hand one. I'm all about it. All right, 17.5 miles. We're only going two and a half. That's how they all start out, you know? Michael told me I can't record on the way to the waterfall since it's late in the day. That's right, we have to get to the waterfall quick. So and Then we can record all the way back. I wanna flip that log, see if there's a salamander on it. And that one. I wanna flip that one. I want to flip that one. Stop stopping. How much room's in there? I could camp in here. Oh. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, there's huge mushrooms. Whoa. Do you guys really want to see a GoPro sun lapse of the sunset or do you want these great mossy views? You know, that's how I see it. We can have both. <laughs> Insect fauna is incredible. I can't wait to see an actual banana slug because I think the slugs we saw last night were a different species or they are just very juvenile. One of the two. There's definitely going to be a whole lot of text in these videos because I'm not super, super up to date on all the Pacific Northwest fauna. See, I think the better solution is just to let people correct us in the comments instead of yeah. me doing more work in the back end. Exactly. I feel like that works out for everyone. You guys can be right, we can be wrong, and it's less work for me, Everybody you know? wins. Get these videos out a little quicker. So I heard that if you find dog poop, you'll find banana slugs. That the banana slugs love dog poop. Should I just poop on the ground and when we come back later, they'll be here? That's a possibility. Welcome to Olympic National Park. Look at the size of this tree. Wow. There's so much energy right here. And it's all positive. We'll this be... is like an aura of positive energy right here. You're going to be doing like vlogs on crystals before you know it. All right, now it's getting weird. <laughs> pocket gophers, northern pocket gophers. Yeah. Yeah, so you see how there's that little, like a shape where they dig into the side? Both of these were made by a northern pocket gopher. There we go. More. Here, go ahead and walk forward. Like normally. Like, don't stop. Michael, the moment they figure out how to bring back dinosaurs, this place is going to be flooded with velociraptors. You think Velociraptors? Oh yeah. How nice of this tree to fall right along the path. Nice and neat. This tree is so huge, Michael was able to tell me that it looked like an embankment. And then I still had enough time to walk a little bit and then start recording. And we're still walking along the tree. That's the top of yeah, it. Yeah, it got skinnier and skinnier. Wow, yeah. It started out as like a six foot wall. It was probably as big as this guy. At least. Jeez, that's just nuts, man. So you still have like raccoons and like normal stuff rolling around these parts too, or is it oh, just yeah. cougars yeah. and bears and things that can murder you? Well, there's bears and cougars here, 
but you got Roosevelt elk. It's one of the few places where Roosevelt elks are still indigenous. And so, oh, there's dinner. That's Whoa, a, that mushroom's huge. Yeah, those are called chicken of the forest. You know why? They taste like chicken. They taste like chicken. I mean, just like as big as my whole body. So one time I bid on a project <laughs> in Washington State for the National Forest Services to come in and treat for pocket gophers. Look at that. That is a elk hoof print right in the middle of that pocket gopher. That's Obviously elk don't like gophers. So the forestry div div division of Washington State uh, they come in and they replant when an area has been logged out and all the big trees cut down. And they were having problems with pocket gophers eating the roots of their planted trees. And so they were hiring a company to come out and deal with five and six hundred acre tracts of land and put uh, zinc phosphate coated grain down in the, the pocket gopher holes to kill the pocket gophers. Well, the more you know. Yep. And uh, I was about $2,000 too high on that bid. It was a $225,000 project. And they were like, the 2000 is too much? No, there was somebody that was 2000 lower than me and they have to take the lowest bid. Leave in the comments, is it a banana slug or not? I do like seeing the antennas, don't poke it. I'll be able to get the close-up shot here. You can't get close with that GoPro. Hold on. Uh -oh. I made it withdraw. My goal is poop on the trail, elk poop. Ooh, lots of elk poop. So I saw this thing where this lady takes these, dries them out, and makes earrings out of them. Out of elk poop? Yeah. People need to find better hobbies. That's just if weird. there's elk poop, that means there's banana slugs around. Who like looks at the ground, they're like, oh, elk poop. You know what? That'd make great earrings. Someone did. This is fresh elk poop too. So Michael and I capped off a 20 hour day yesterday. That was a, it was a pretty cool 20 hour day. Then got four hours of sleep, got up this morning, went coho salmon fishing once, a mo once again with Sam. You guys can check out that episode, I'm sure on the channel as well, ahead. So just as a vlogger and a videographer, Nature is really difficult to document. There is nothing I can do to show you how massive this tree is right here. Not possible. It is an amazing tree. I guess if you had like a, a fisheye lens, that would help some. I'm very familiar with anamorphic lenses, all different types of things you can try to do. Sure you are. The shorter things is, is if you haven't been to your local national park, you should. But get out here, see some of the stuff. Nature's wonderful. Forget about your problems in the world and go hug a tree like Michael. Hug a tree. There really is something to it. You can get down with some basic, really primal vibrations from these big trees. You much of a hiker, Michael? Nah. Eh. Like you ever if do backpacking? If there's a reason to go somewhere from point A to point B, I'll get it and go. I can do about seven miles at, at, without being like, wore out. It's a red squirrel, pine squirrel. Wow, I've never seen one stay still that long. He's coming right to us. Come say hi to Michael. Got a new pocket squirrel. Oh, this is crazy. Like, this squirrel isn't fed by humans all the time. He's like, give me a nut. I know you guys are good for it. It's so cute. Yeah, don't feed your wildlife in the national parks. Stuff like this happens. Such a cute little squirrel. Wish I had something to give you, but I don't. You crawl my leg. This is a fairly new fall. But they did make a real nice little stairway for us. Flip a log, find a critter. It is a lot moister. Not this log. Come here, little snippied. Don't Come they on. sting? Yeah, they can bite you. My goal. 
We didn't look up centipedes. He's a wiggler. Bye, centipede. He didn't want to stay you know, still. pick up things that you don't know how toxic they are. But you told me that I could pick up anything and it wouldn't hurt I me out here. I looked up reptiles and snakes and frogs. Well, it's the obvious things, not centipedes. Well, it didn't bite. Is it? The holes go really deep in the ground. So I think if there was anything, they're escaping way deep because it's so dry. So we put together this trip to Washington State for two main reasons. One, we had a subscriber invite us up here because he really wanted to salmon fish with us. And two, Michael really wanted to see some salamanders. I want to see some salamanders. So hoping that with the next two nights of herping and hiking, we'll run into a couple salamanders here. Speaking of elk in the middle of the trail, I'll bet there'll be a banana slug around here soon. How fresh is this poop? Very fresh. You think like is... right out in front of us fresh. So it's pretty wild. Sometimes when I look at the ferns, the way the ferns polarize the light, it, uh, it looks like things moving underneath the ferns. I could see where if you were in a uh, stressful situation, where you could definitely hallucinate out here. A feather. Oh, what kind, Michael? I don't know. You want to keep it and we can look it up? No, that's against the law. Can you, can you, oh, we don't know if it is. Uh... I can tell you it's protected by the Migratory Birds Treaties Act. So you think it's some sort of bird of prey? No, it's a passerine bird. Oh. But I don't know what species. I'll have to look it up. There we go. Dang. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Wow. I love salamanders so much. Hold them still a little lower. Wow. Now is that kind of a tiny size? This is an adult. Look at that tail. It looks like a tadpole almost. I just love them so much. How happy are you? I'm really happy. I'm like so happy. All right, one more shot for the for the he's crew. Wiggle, he's wiggling. You want to try and calm him down? We're gonna turn him loose here in a second. Thanks, little buddy. All right, salamander number one. Yay! <laughs> salamander number one. Feel you how hear cool. that, Michael? It's getting colder and there's water. Isn't that sweet? Wow, it got cold. That's some cold water right there. It dropped like 20 degrees standing on this bridge. At least. You know there's salamanders all in this. You think? Oh yeah, it's gotta be. You do with the water that cold? Oh yeah, they love cold water. Oh look, did you see the tall waterfall from over there? Pretty awesome. Cole, come on. Well, let's go. Ugh. It's going to be tricky getting back across that. I don't think so. Whoa, here we go. Got another one? Yeah. This one's posing. Yeah, same species it looks like. Yeah, just a little bit older. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with them. Like they're just the cool. I think this is the Olympic torrid salamander, but we'll have to look it up. It's got a lot of. Can you see the flecking on it? The the metallic flecking. Oh man, I lost him right away. You put him down. Right here. Yeah, I see him, but like, 
That's crazy how much he blends in. We'll pick him up and put him under the tree so nobody steps on him. Try it, he said. I like it. I'm going to. That's it. Are you going? Yeah, I'll go. All right. Well, enjoy. You're going to have to carry Michael three miles out of here. I mean, this is steep. It doesn't look like it, but it's steep going up there. And you got to gander all the way up there to this tree. I like to think I'm a pretty adventurous guy. You definitely don't want to slip. Don't that slip? Steep and slippery. I've got sandals I've watched on. Michael walk up ladders Which, with ladders. It's not helping. Go up four stories on ladders. He's the man for the job. With the climbing of this tree. Well, that tree's moving. He's like, how do I do this? He's probably heavily panting right now. I can't hear him right now. That's as high as I'm going. Because uh, I got my shoes wet. Which they're just sandals. But still, they're wet. And I gotta climb back down. He's in hiking sandals, so if he decides he doesn't want to do this, I'm not gonna be surprised. It'd probably be the wisest decision. That's steep. But I drank out of the creek, so I got some of that fresh mountain water. I just hope it's not a dead body upstream. Just grab on the handholds. Just jump over this river, Cole. So, um, now that we've kind of figured out where salamanders are, I, uh, I kind of don't want to disturb anymore. Here. Yeah, they're yeah. the same species. Look, you made it. <laughs> just say it. Not every videographer can do this. Just say it. Hey, I'm just saying. One time. Oh, no, I cut myself somewhere. Oh, my God, he's bleeding bad. Oh, no, bud. We'll get the king salamander to come out with a little blood. This was an incredible trip into the Olympic National Forest. It's the first time I've been in this national forest and I am thoroughly impressed. Not only are the trails really easy to walk, the waterfall was incredible and we found salamanders. So stick around because we've got two more adventures coming up and that's gonna be in our next vlog. The National Park. National Park. Yeah. I said National Park. <laughs> national Forest. National Forest, National Park, National Park, National Forest. Olympic National Forest, Olympic National Park. Well, this is Olympic National Park. It's a national park that I've been in. He's lost. And I like being in the national park because right. there's Olympic National Park animals in here. Did you see that red squirrel? Right, well, that was well, only in that the out. Olympic National Park. Thanks for subscribing. I'm pretty sure those Thanks for hitting that notification we found bell. Those and leave those us a comment. Tort and let us know if you sure. want us to come to your area of your country or this country and do weird things. Or we'll do normal things and just do it in a weird way. Yeah, that works too. I don't have any problem with it. I don't either. Called Forest Park, whatever, it's here. You know, people yeah. know. It's got, it's got forest in it. Look at all the forest around us. I think both of us are getting a little delusional here. Siri, how many national parks are there? Here's an answer from Wikipedia. The United States has 63 national parks. Ooh, 63. Congressionally designated. How many national parks have you been to, Michael? Three. Three? Maybe three. Oh, I think I got a new series idea, guys. Let's take Michael to national parks before he dies. <laughs> What's 80 times three? 240? Yeah. So my strides are exactly three feet. So that tree was 240 feet tall. Probably 300 feet. We consider that much left plus the what tip. the top of it was. Yeah, that's a 300 foot tree. That's amazing. All right. Now, let's get out of here. We gotta go get the sunset. Nailed it.
right, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> he doesn't let me sleep. He doesn't let me do anything. <laughs> I'm actually just being held hostage. You guys don't even know it. <laughs> like what psychopath would go out on the road with bare hands burying in the first place? <laughs> we'll make we'll make one of those one of those movies like uh, where the fan kidnaps a celebrity, keeps them hostage in their cabin. I'm having a great time, guys. <laughs> Send help. Send help. He truly is fascinating, you know? Like, as much as I like seeing him handling animals, just like having a vlog of him going to Costco's would be fantastic, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, how does he operate on a daily basis? <laughs>